coach Jerry Lucas of the Collins Titans, coming off a 7-4 campaign in 2021, has a returning senior quarterback in Kenyon Gooden, who's making some noise around the state. Can the Titans make some noise in 5A football in Kentucky? Let's find out as we preview the Collins Titans today on Glycod. Despite a Class 5A first-round upset in 21 by West Jessamine, 7-4 was the Titans' best record in four years. They entered this season with a stellar quarterback at the helm. Senior Kenyon Gooden threw for close to 2,500 yards in 21, which put him atop the 5A table. A transfer from Butler just a couple of years ago, Gooden also led Collins with nearly 1,000 yards rushing and is also a defensive threat with 54 tackles and four takeaways. 31 of Gooden's 164 pass completions went to top returning receiver Darius Evans. The 5'11", 165-pound senior totaled 558 yards and eight touchdowns, along with an interception return on the other side of the ball. A few other voids in the Titans' defense could be filled by rising underclassmen. Sophomore linebackers Josh Lehnert and Caden Campbell combined for 57 stops and two takeaways. Junior lineman Monte Mormon came off a season which he made 24 tackles. Jerry Lucas has been the Titans head coach from its beginning 13 years ago. The former Shelby County assistant and Western Hills head man has over 100 wins in his coaching career, as well as a 4A championship win from 2013. The Titans go for three in a row over Shelby County in a season opening rivalry game. District 7 competition includes a home game against 5A semifinalists Woodford County, followed by a road trip to West Jessamine. Check back tomorrow for two more local area high school football team previews and the schedule on Glycod.com for your favorite team. Thank you for joining me for this preview of the Collins Titans from Martha Lane Collins High School. This is Dr. Todd Carter for Glycod.com.